Welcome to question number four. We are to resolve 2x minus 7 divided by 25x minus 24 minus 6x squared into a partial fraction. And to understand this, I have a tutorial on the topic partial fraction and a rational function. Go to the YouTube, look for the playlist, and have all the types of uh, resolving a fraction into a partial fraction. So let's start with the, the resolving of the denominator into a form that we can easily work with. We can see that the denominator is a quadratic term. We have to check whether it's a reducible quadratic term or non-reducible. So I am going to uh, rewrite it with the x squared term coming first as minus 6x squared, the x term, which is plus 25x, the constant term as minus what? 24. All right. We always want to work with the x uh, squared term coefficient to be positive. So I'm going to factorize the negative one out to have my 20, you see 2x, right? Minus 7. Now divided by minus 1 into bracket 6x squared. The negative when push in will make this to become what? Negative. So we have what? 25x. This becomes plus 24. So now let's see whether it's a reducible quadratic term. So 6 times 24. 120 plus 24. That's 144. So you find the factors of 144. So if I have positive 144, I need those two factors I'm looking for to be negative, both negative. So that when I add, as you have a negative value, when I multiply. And if you check carefully, you'll be having 16 and 9. So both being negative. I'm not going to solve the quadratic step by step since we are focusing on what? Resolving this. And I will use my shortcut that I normally do, which is going to be 2 bracket x with the first factor, 16x, the second factor, minus 9. But we use this 6 to multiply. So we divide by the 6. And if we divide, we can see that there's a common factor of 2. So 2 go there, 3 and 2. Common factor of 2, 2 go there. 8 and what? 3. I think the first one is a common factor of 3. Because 9 on 6, it should be 3. So 3 here, 3. 3 here, 2. Now, we can't have a fraction here. We are going to set the denominator here to make it 3x minus 8. Denominator come here, 2x minus what? 3. So this is what I'm going to use. I believe this is clear. Let's ignore all the process and just lift this and replace our uh, quadratic term here and continue. So here I am going to have my 2x7 divided by into brackets. Uh, the first term we have was 2x minus 3 and I think 3x minus 8. But remember there is a minus 1 here. So that minus will be here. And if this minus is multiplying all of them, but it cannot multiply here and go ahead. So we used to multiply this. It's going to be negative 2x plus what? 3. So I can rewrite this as 2x minus 7 divided by, since this become positive, I go ahead and have the positive minus what? 2x then 3x minus what? 8. So now this is having two terms which are all linear. So we know how to resolve a linear denominator. So this is now going to be equal to a divided by the first term, 3 minus 2x, b divided by the second term, 3 minus what? 8. So now we are having this being equal to this, having the same denominators, so we just take the numerators, or better still, we multiply. 
So we multiply by this term. If you multiply here, you'll be left with 2x minus 7. If you multiply here by this, the first term will cancel remaining this, meaning a will now multiply 3x minus 8 plus. If you multiply all of this here, it will cancel the second term having b into bracket 3 minus 1, 2x. So here, we need to eliminate either a or b. How do we eliminate it? By making the whole thing in the bracket to be 0. The moment here is 0, the a is eliminated. Then I will work with b. So what do I do? Let's say that we set 3x minus this equals to 0. The moment the whole of this is 0, I am going to clear the a. So that will imply that this will go out. Then I will divide by 3. So by substitution, it means that x should be 3 on 2 before the whole of this will become what? 0. So let's replace the x and make here 0. Meaning 2 into bracket 8 on 3 minus 7. This is going to be a 3, 8 on 3 minus 8. Then plus b, 3 minus 2, 8 on what? 3. There are two brackets there. If you check here, this 3 will cancel this. You'll be left with 8 minus 0, uh, minus 8. That will give you what? 0. So we have achieved our uh, aim. What do we do? We don't have a common factor. So 2 times 8, 16 on 3 minus 7 divided by 1. This is going to be 0. Then I have plus b into bracket. 3 will come. 2 times this. Uh, 2 cannot cancel this. So 2 times uh, 8 will be 16 divided by 3. Alright, what do we do? Let's solve the fractions with the LCM here being 3. I have 16, 1 go here, 3, 21, this is 0, so let's leave that. B over 1, so LCM will be 3, 3 goes here, and 1 goes here, 3, 3, 3, 9, 1 goes here, 3 goes here, 1, then we have what? 16. What can I have here? If I have 5, so minus 5 on 3 equals to b times what would this be that will also be minus five we got five plus this no minus seven so i still have minus seven over three remember this b is going in to multiply only the seven so how can i do mm, let's see i want to take a space so let's multiply by negative three over seven negative 3 over 7 so that the b will be free so this will cancel this this will cancel this and in the case of that since we are multiplying negative times negative become positive i want to look at the space and this 3 will cancel this therefore i should be having negative negative positive so i have 5 on 7 equals to b therefore b equals to 5 over what? 7. So we now find the value of B. This here. Now we need to find the value of A by eliminating the B here. If I eliminate the B, where is it? Here. If I eliminate the B, I can work with A. So I have to set this bracket to be equal to 0. So that I can find the value of X that will make it what? 0. So from here, we are going to let X no, we are going to let, uh, what is that? 3 minus 2x equals to 0. That will imply that when this come here, you will be left with 3 divided by 2. So x will be 3 on 2. So we substitute into still the same position as in 2 into bracket 3 on 2 minus 7. A, 3, 3 on 2 minus 8 the second one will give us 0 but let's still maintain it 3 minus 2 3 on 2 in that way so this will cancel 3 minus 3 this will be 0 2 and 3 will give you 6 okay i think 
I can easily cancel this to have 3 minus 7 equals to this will not cancel. So a into bracket 9 on 2 minus 8 plus what? 0. So our tension is not going to be here now. This will give you minus 4. Find your LCM, which will be 2. We we'll go there 1. So 9. This one goes here 2, right? 2 times this will be 16. Minus 4 equals to A into bracket. I think we still have minus 7 on 2. So here we are going to conserve space again. Multiply here by negative 2 on 7. We are multiplying here by the reciprocal. Here it was the reciprocal I used. 7 on 3, we turn it over. 7 on 2, we turn over. So here will also be minus 2 on what? 7. So in doing so, this will multiply the top to give you 8 over 7 equals to A. So therefore, A is also 8 on what? 7. So your fraction, this, is now going to be equal to, let's say, 2x minus 7 all over, what should I pick? Should I pick the original question? Or we pick this one, which will be 25 minus 24 minus 6x squared should be equals to a. And a is a fraction, so only the 8 will be on top, divided by 7 multiplying the 3 minus what? 2x plus b is a fraction of 5 divided by 7 multiplying 3x minus what? 8. So now the fraction this is now resolved into two partial fractions. I guess you will follow through step by step approach that we pass. I know in resolving to get the value, eliminating A and B, there are various ways that can be done. You can try the other leg also and share your thoughts in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe if you have not, and come back for question number five.